Spookwood, first introduced in October 2015, has become a staple of Lumber Tycoon 2. This exclusive tree poses a challenge to any new or old player who wants to find it. But as times change and methods become obsolete, it's hard to find correct information. So, if you don't want to end up like me in 2019, Spook! Right? Spook! Spook! I recommend watching this video. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the updated Spook Hunting Guide. Before Spookwood starts spawning on October 1st at 6am EST, you need to know some basic things. First of all, you need to know how common spooks are. Suppose you have 100 servers, only about 1 in 25 will have a spook tree. Now suppose those were all spook trees, only 1 out of 100 of those would be a sinister tree. You can tell it's a sinister tree if the bark is textured. A special event called the Conversion happens at 6am east on the 31st of October. During this event, spawn rate for Spook and Sinister increases, trees lose their leaves, and the fog thickens. 24 hours later, the second conversion occurs. During this event, spawn rate stops and fog returns to normal. However, you can still find remnant trees at this time. Now let's move into the Spook Tree's growth. Each part of a Spook Tree that doesn't branch off is called a Segment. These segments can continue naturally up to 5, getting rarer past the second segment. Two new segments are considered branches. Now it's time for a little quiz. Click 2 if it's a 5 seg or click nothing if it's a 3 seg. 2 was the correct answer. Nice, now it's time for another question. Click 4 if it's a 3 seg or 3 if it's a 1 seg. 4 was the correct answer. Wait, why are you still here? Oh yeah, you're probably on mobile and have no idea what I'm talking about by clicking numbers. Sorry about that, but now that I have your attention, let's go over some mobile-only tips for hunting. Anyways, this first tip is pretty self-explanatory, but I recommend zooming into first person before attempting to spook hunt. The reasoning behind this is pretty simple. On a PC, you have a much bigger field of view and can see almost all the map. However, on mobile, this view is much smaller, so zooming in all the way will help you out a lot. My second tip is to use a microfiber cloth to clean your screen before hunting. This can be used for PC and mobile, but I recommend it more for mobile as you use your fingers which are very oily and can get the screen very dirty, thus causing you to misread a smudge as a spook tree. Anyways, give me a moment while I address the quiz player. 4 was the correct answer. Great, now that that's over, we can continue with another mobile tip. Later in the video, I'll tell you how to wall climb up to a spook tree. However, you can't do this glitch on mobile, so I'm going to show you an alternative. To start, chop a small branch about this big and walk up to a wall. Now, the hardest part about this is actually performing it, but you can get better on it the more you try. Basically, you have to walk into the wall while holding the stick, so you trigger the climbing animation and start climbing up the wall. I have a more in-depth video on this, link in the description. Anyways, that's all the tips I had planned, so if you made it here and you're on mobile and not just a PC player watching this BC1 AFK, then comment Spook in the comment section down below for a chance to win one Robux. That's right, a whole Robux, and you can win it simply by joining my group which will also be linked down in the description. Anyways, enough of this, let's get on to the actual video. Congratulations, you got it right! Anyways, let's move on to the second part of the video. Anyways, now that you know about Spookwood and how it grows, it's time to get on to building your actual hunting base. All you're gonna need is a plot of land and as follows. A sawmill of your choice. 80 to 100 smooth walls. A truck of your choice. Now that you've acquired all of the items necessary to build your hunting base, it's time to start placing down the smooth walls. Grab the blueprint out and start placing the walls along the edge of your base. For now, I'm gonna do 80 walls as it's a good starting number, but I recommend 100 for a full ladder.
Speaking of dying, that's what you're going to need to do to find the center of your base. Simply reset your character, grab a smooth wall, and place it one stud behind where you spawned. From there, move forward a little bit and place it right where you were standing. Once that's done, you just want to tower all of your smooth walls on top of each other until you're done. Another thing is that you want decent axe on your base at all times to help with chopping the spook wood. Anyways, let's get to placing down these other items. First of all, you're going to want to take your car of choice and place it in the corner of your base so it's easy to access. Now, if you're looking to harvest over 5 trees, I recommend putting your sawmill on a completely different slot. If not, then you can place your sawmill in the corner of your base right here. Speaking of said storage slot, it doesn't need to be that complicated, only a sawmill and storage area is needed. However, if you want a magnificent looking base like wiki user tree angulum, you can go all out building conveyors, storage platforms, car spawners, etc. Speaking of the wiki, it's a great place to look at information about Spook and Sinisterwood, along with great data collected from previous years. A link to the wiki discord and website will be down below. Anyways, let's move on to hunting. The first step to hunting is joining a server. For this, I recommend just hitting play button. Note that you will join your friends, so just unfriend them throughout the season if you do. Anyways, once you join, you want to load your hunting base that we just built. Anyways, I recommend loading in slot 5 or slot 6 as they're the closest one to the tropics so you can easily see it. Anyways, let's start searching the server. Start over at the safari and slowly pan your camera around the whole map. Don't focus at the blurred in area yet. Only stick to the right side of the screen until you get around halfway through. Once you've searched the whole map, you want to pan your camera down and look over the mainland. Remember to do slow and gradual movement. Anyways, there was a spook kit in there. Did you see it? It's okay, I'll rewind. Anyways, the spook was hidden right here and it might be impossible to see because of YouTube compression, so my bad. But wait, hold up, where exactly can a spook spawn? Well, it can spawn on any surface named ground, slate, or road with 100 studs of vertical space. However, it cannot spawn safari roads as they're called reed. Wait, was that a spook? Let's go find that. To find the spook tree on the map, all you have to do is get into your car and drive to the nearest cliff where the spook tree is located at. If it's across the ferry, then just take the ferry over, and same goes with the bridge. Once you're at the cliff, all you want to do is get out of your car and grab your axe and drop it on the ground. From there, do a wall glitch by pulling the axe behind you and repeat this process until you get to the spook tree. Once you get to the tree, simply cut it down and haul it to your base in which you can sawmill it. Anyways, this can be it for the guide and I hope to see you all hunting in a few days. Goodbye!